Just after midnight on the 3rd of October 1916, a hooded figure was escorted by Imperial Russian soldiers to a wooded area outside the city of Olu. The next day, his lifeless corpse was buried by the tree in an unmarked grave. He would become the last person to be hanged in Finland. Hey, and welcome to the Finland at War podcast, episode 2, The Hanging Tree of Olu. The unfortunate individual's name was Tarvetti Lukkarainen, a forestry foreman, and his crime was high treason. But what were the details of his crime? Finland in 1916 was an interesting place. The Russian Empire was now two years into the Great War. Many of its citizens were supportive of the empire. Some had even volunteered to fight within the ranks of the Imperial Army. Others were engaged in war-related industries. However, there were some who actively supported the Central Powers, like those who joined the 27th Royal Prussian Jager Battalion. The Jager movement was an extension of the battalion. It consisted of trained members of the unit, as well as older activists, who would recruit and carry out reconnaissance and even sabotage within Finland. It is highly suspected by academics that Tarvetti was involved in the movement to some degree. In December 1915, he was paid to provide safe passage to three German prisoners of war who had escaped from their forced labour site along the Mamanx railway. He hid them in his sled under the cover of his goods as it was loaded into a freight wagon at Rovaniemi. His destination was Kemi, where he would take his sled to the border town of Tornio so the Germans could cross into neutral Sweden. However, as the train stopped at Koivu and Davetti went to the station cafe, a conductor discovered the three POWs. Seeing the commotion from the cafe's window, the Finn panicked and fled to Sweden. He would have been safe there if it wasn't for the fact he grew homesick. He longed to be reunited with his wife and two small children, and soon acquired forged papers. Crossing back into Finland in early June 1916, he took a train to Oulu. As he approached the northern city, he started to fear he would be recognised, and as the train slowed through Givinyemi, he jumped. Unlucky for him, though, he was spotted by Russian mounted gendarmerie and arrested only moments later. Despite his counterfeit papers, his identity was discovered and he was taken to Oulu prison to await trial. Finland, like all of the Russian Empire, was under martial law because of the war, and so Davetti's trial was to be held in a secret court under the direction of the Ninth Corps. He was declared a traitor to the state and that he would be hanged for high treason. While the sentence was correct for the verdict, it was still exceptional in Finland, with the last time an act of capital punishment occurring was in 1825. He was kept for four months in Oulu prison. Shortly after midnight on the 4th of October, he was taken from his cell and escorted by 40 gendarmerie in a horse-drawn cart to a place known as Kontinkangas, part of the military area of the Oulu garrison. The only Finns present at his hanging were the prison priest and two Finnish policemen. His body was discarded in a shallow grave near the hanging tree. However, the secrecy didn't last long, and despite orders to keep clear of the area, locals started to visit on Sundays in an act of protest towards the hanging. They carved crosses into the hanging tree and the surrounding trees. Olu's governor, Axel Enengelm, was criticised for his lack of action to try and save Tavetti. Soon, the Russian authorities were forced to act, and orders were given to cut down the trees in the area and to have regular patrols to deter visitors, forcibly if needed. These actions did little to dampen the remembrance of the event, and soon after Finland gained its independence, the site became a sacred spot. In 1935, a memorial was erected in the area and given a very patriotic and moving ceremony, attended by veterans of the Civil War and Luke Reinen's widow and two children. The memorial is an iron fence on a red granite base surrounding a tree. Obviously the tree isn't the actual tree, but its symbolism is what has become important. The tree became a symbol to many as a reminder of the harsh days of Russian rule. Until its closing down, the Olu garrison used to take the new recruits there 
as part of a three-stop tour. It was used as evidence of what would happen to them if their motherland was ever taken by foreign troops. As for the body of Tovetti, it was exhumed shortly after the independence of Finland and interned at the main Oulu cemetery. His memorial and grave are maintained by the Artillerymen Guild of Northern Finland and the Oulu chapter of the Lions Club. His memory is still remembered 100 years on and he has become a symbol of how important it is for Finland to remain independent and in charge of its own affairs. Thank you for listening to the tale of the last man hanged in Finland. I hope that you found it interesting. If you would like to support the podcast and the website, please look us up at patreon.com. Also, check out the website for regular articles at www.finlandatwar.com.